Thank you for joining us for this training video. In part two of the motion recording setup video, we showed simple VAST playback features like navigation to the camera recordings and basic usage of the histogram bar. In this video, we'll show how to playback video using the histogram and control panel. We'll show layout control, configuring export options, right-click context menus, exporting a video for playback to another computer, playing that file, and synchronous recording. First, we need to open VAST playback. Since I already have Live Client open, I'll click System Launch Playback. Another option is to connect directly from the VAST playback icon on the desktop and log into the server that way. From playback, I can easily open up the camera tree and select a date to view available sections of recordings. We can see here, once I double-click the date, playback of the video will immediately begin in the layout. With my mouse, I can highlight sections of the red and blue bar, or histogram, to select different time frames of video. I can also use the zoom in and zoom out buttons to adjust this. The control panel shows different playback controls, which has basic functions like play and pause, in addition to other features we'll cover a little bit later. Above the histogram is the time slider bar, which is aligned to the histogram and tracks the current playback location. Above the slider bar is the layout. This allows us to view playback of multiple cameras simultaneously. The histogram and video clip list are aligned with whichever video is playing above. We can select the grid icon at the top to change the layout. We can swap cameras by dragging one over the other, or adjust the layout in any other way we would like. The right-click context menu allows us to access other basic layout features, such as single view, full screen, picture in picture, also called digital zoom, adjust the window of PIP, and take a snapshot. Let's save the file to the desktop and reopen it. From here we could also attach it to an email or copy it somewhere else. We can also print the image, or when we're zoomed in, we could take a snapshot or print that zoomed image. You can also apply preset and custom defogging al algorithms to the image to clean it up. If the camera is equipped with SVC, you can adjust the streaming quality SVC FPS adjust bar or use the button at the top of the screen. Many of these options we just reviewed are available in different places on the camera. In addition to basic options to mute audio. Due to the length of the video, please consult the VAST manual for a full description of these features and how they're used. 
One of the most handy features available in VAST is synchronous recording. This allows a person to synchronize multiple cameras and play them back at once. This works for up to 16 cameras. I begin by selecting a camera, moving the time slider bar to the location I'd like to play back and synchronize to, and then click Synchronous Playback. It'll synchronize all cameras on the layout, and then I can use the speed up, slow down, pause, and rewind buttons. Next, next, let's take a look at exporting video clips. First, let's see the configuration options for exporting video by clicking Configuration, Client Settings, Export Settings. The executable or EXE is the most commonly used option because a video player is embedded into the playback file. This means that no special driver or video playback software needs to be installed to, to playback the video on another computer. 3GP is also an option for VLC, QuickTime, or Real One Player. And AVI is available for custom codec exports. This requires more advanced knowledge about video codecs, so in general it's best practice to stick with EXE or 3GP. We'll stick with EXE. The Save To field allows us to change the export location. I'm going to change it to my desktop for demoing purposes. Below we can configure the maximum file size, shown here as 1750 megabytes, or we can switch it to a maximum time interval. This function will split up the file into chunks respective to either setting. Now let's export a file using the time slider bar to place the beginning and ending markers. Then we'll click Export EXE to export the file. Based on the settings I changed earlier, it should be located on my desktop. From here I can double click it to play it back, attach it to an email, or perhaps copy it to USB key for transfer to another physical location. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of these VAST playback features in VAST. This concludes the video. We thank you for watching and choosing VivoTech. Remember to visit us at www.vivotech.com to see all of the latest VivoTech products.